Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and I am holding an iPad, which means this piano has a QRS Wi-Fi player system on it. Now that's not common on a piano like this. This is a 1927 handmade Kanabi. Now we rebuild these pianos all the time and sell them for about 25,000 bucks, 26,000 bucks without the player system on it. This is a golden era piano. So pianos made between 1900, well, depending on who you talk to, 18, 90 to 1930 is usually the cutoff. That is kind of like the peak of piano manufacturing in the United States. That's where everybody wants to be. So the only pianos we re re rebuild are from that era, typically. This one, we did not rebuild. Somebody else rebuilt this and it came to us. Um, and it's, it was done really, really well. This has this beautiful matchbooked walnut finish. It's a satin lacquer. It's in really, really good shape. Um, but it does have a QRS Wi-Fi system on it that does have some upgrades as well. So there, ha there is a record strip underneath this keyboard, which allows us to flip a switch right here. We can flip this switch over, and when I play these notes, it won't make any sound at all. It's just totally silent. It, you, know, you hear like knocking, you know, from your fingers. But, and then from there, you can plug it into a computer or um, any kind of recording software out of MIDI. It's a MIDI out, and you can use this almost like a keyboard, which is a really, really cool feature. I'm installing one of those on another piano right now for a customer, and I think they're paying like 2,500 bucks. So it's a cool add-on, um, but it does have a QRS Wi-Fi system on it. When we got the piano, it had a CD player on it and we upgraded it to this QRS Wi-Fi system. Just because we like using iPads, everybody wants it anyways. Nobody wants to deal with the CDs. Another reason is when you get a new upgraded QRS system, you get their entire library for free for the first year, which is really, really cool. And after that, you get about 500 songs for free, and you can go and buy individual songs, individual albums as well, which is a really cool feature. Now these keys, key covers, are not plastic. That's really all I can say about it on this YouTube video. They're not plastic. There are some minor um, cracks in the key sticks or in the key covers themselves, but no major chips or anything. You can just kind of see these little cracks in them that got some finger grime in them or something like that. Very, very minor, but they are there if you guys are shopping from out of state. Um, now, I'm going to hit play. Oh, let me talk about the piano a little bit more. When they rebuilt this piano, they put a brand new pin block in the piano, fully restrung the piano, and new bridges as well. They also shimmed the soundboard, and we did some extra filling on the board as well. There's plenty of crown. You're about to hear it. It has a very, very beautiful sound. I love Kanabis. These are, we always relate these to like muscle cars. Same with Baldwin for American pianos. They be basically have this kind of like really amazing power without being like this brassy kind of metallic-y sound in your face, but they definitely have some kick to them and I cannot get over this finish. I love these finishes. I'm a sucker for wood. Um, one thing before we move on, our microphones that we use to record these videos sit on the top of the pianos, and this particular piano has speakers up underneath the piano for accompaniment, so like drums, guitar, bass, things like that. So I got those speakers cranked, hoping that you can hear them with these microphones up here because there's no microphone up underneath it. Um, but it's a really cool feature that you can do. And in your house, you can actually mix that. You can turn up the audio on the speakers or turn down the audio on the speakers. You can turn the speakers completely off and just have piano. You can turn the piano up. You can kind of adjust it however you want. So without further ado, I'll get out of the way and hit play. But if you guys have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.